Welcome to week 14 of All 22 Tuesday, a collaboration between First Down Playbook, the Coaching Coordinator Podcast, the Scouting Academy, and FNF Coaches. In this play, we're going to take a look at the Bills' two deep coverage against the Pittsburgh Steelers' bunch formation here. And, and Charlie, we see, uh, you know, they're trying to stretch the defense here out on the perimeter and and bunch can be a, a great formation for the offense to create some space. Uh, but I think the other thing, you know, and, and maybe that comes into play here, there, there can be some situations where it gets a little bit congested and maybe hard to see a defender. And uh, I'm pretty sure that Ben didn't mean to throw the ball to uh, 24 here. I think you're absolutely right. It had to be something like that. You look at the situation and, and hats off to the Bills. They are playing really good football right now, uh, and, and particularly on defense, and they've got a quarterback, very similar to the one we're going to see here. But uh, they, they double mug it, you know, trying to show a little pressure. You'll look and see where it's three on three here. Maybe Rosselberger thought that it was going to be some type of bracket, banjo coverage right here. Uh, but when the ball snapped, <clears throat> it quickly becomes just your basic two deep, which was one of the reasons I wanted to pull this play out and look at it. Uh, the, they end up in a coverage that you will see uh, a lot any Friday night across uh, the United States. So uh, let's take a look at it here and just see if we can pick up a few things that uh, we might be able to take and, and use ourselves. But here we go. As you can see right there, three on three. And once again, the background of the Steelers, anybody that plays them knows they love to run. A lot of bunch formations like to get the ball out quickly. They don't have a very strong running game, so they actually try to create their running game out of this bunch formation. But go ahead, Keith, tell me what you see here. Well, I think you pointed it out. These guys have done a great job of getting the ball out of Ben's hand. I think the average is like 2.2 seconds on his release on any pass play this year, and that's getting the ball out pretty quickly. And uh, as I said, you see him, you know, running this curl flat with, with a guy over, over the top here. It could be like a spacing concept. Uh, I'm not sure if that guy was going to continue to the outside or if he was trying to sit down here, but uh, I agree with you. It's, you know, you see a lot of two deep coverage. Um, you know, that was something I could always count on as our adjustment anytime we would go bunch would be to get a cover two. And that's what we see here. So you see that, that uh, corner. Uh, and I'm not sure if he's the corner or if he's the nickel player, but he's in the flat, right? Squad in the flat. You have the two guys getting over the top on the hashes here. Um, but that inside player making a, a really nice move. And again, you know, you question uh, with, with everybody coming out of that same position here to just Ben not have that guy in his vision because, uh, you know, you, you typically don't see him make these kinds of mistakes. And that's as basic two as you can get, two high safeties, flat, curl, hook, curl, flat. Everybody here has played that coverage. Let's take a look at it from the end zone. Now, the, the great thing about this, Keith, that just having – knowing that you're playing this, your defenders are just reading his eyes the whole way, right? Just sitting on it. Yep. Once again, two teams that will more than likely be in the playoffs unless disaster strikes. But, uh, once again, Buffalo Bills are playing really good football right now. And uh, they'll be a fun team to watch. Charlie, I want to tell our uh, viewers about a great opportunity we have with Lauren's First and Goal Clinic, which is January 14th through 17th. We're going to have about 160 speakers. We have some of the keynotes lined up already with uh, Mac Brown from North Carolina, Luke Fickle from Cincinnati, Jeff Munkin from uh, Army, uh, a number of coordinators from the FBS level, uh, FCS level position coaches. I can tell you, Charlie, in, in helping – uh, John Luce with Lawrence first and goal, uh, also the associate head coach at Army, fill out this lineup. We're really paying attention to making sure that uh, we serve every coach out there, that if you are, for example, a defensive line coach, we are going to have a number of defensive line coaches within there. So a nice balance between O and D. We're hitting all positions. Uh, we'll have your culture and leadership and pro, uh, program building stuff in there, as well as a track of strength and conditioning coaches. I believe we have uh, six uh, FCS, FBS, strength and conditioning coaches in there as well. Uh, Charlie, I don't think it's hyperbole to say that this could be the best clinic lineup ever. And, uh, you know, it is for charity. 
the ticket right now, early bird special, all the way up to December 31st is $49 for the individual. Again, 160 talks total. Uh, for the uh, staff pass, it's $150 for five coaches. So about 30 bucks a coach. Great Christmas present for your coaching staff. Uh, check it out at lfgf.coachesclinic.com. Be sure to join us each week throughout the NFL season for All 22 Tuesday. All 22 Tuesday is brought to you by First Down Playbook, the number one football playbook tool for coaches at all levels of football. Edit any of our 35,000 plays or draw your own from scratch. All plays come with detailed coaching points and player assignments for every position. Keith Grabowski is the host of Coach and Coordinator podcast. He interviews the most knowledgeable head coaches, coordinators, and position coaches from professional, college, and high school football. Keith and his guests discuss the philosophy, concepts, schemes, and strategies that they have learned throughout their careers. The Scouting Academy teaches you how to scout like a pro. Learn from NFL executives and coaches about the process of scouting from your home on your schedule. The Scouting Academy has 40 alumni with NFL opportunities and over 130 in college football. Friday Night Football Coaches is the platform for high school football coaches. FNF Coaches delivers content to the high school football coaching community through its website, print magazine, and other digital platforms. Links to all websites can be found in the description of this video. Thank you for joining us for this week's All 22 Tuesday, and we will see you next week.